And you know, like, I am tolerant of people. Yeah, you know, I'm tolerant to a point. You know, it just gets to the point where you just want to go, shh, stop speaking shit and listen up. And that's where I am today. So it's time the people who make up the excuses have to hear the truth about their excuses. Now, a lot of people that don't speak up about it, they're like, oh yeah, live and let learn. Live and let learn. And staying silent while those around us are killing themselves and killing others is not a loving thing to do. I'm going to go through all the excuses that corpse crunches have to offer. My buddy tells me to eat meat. So that means if I put a slice of your grandma's leg on a burger, you would eat it? Sure, my body says to eat meat. And the little voice in my head says to go and shoot everybody at my workplace. Meat makes you strong and healthy. Yeah, that's what my 500 pound neighbour said before he died of a heart attack at 40. I can't go vegan. If I did, there is literally nothing I can eat or wear. Yeah, that's why I run around nude all day. But what would we do with all the animals? If we didn't eat all the animals in the world, they would overrun us. That's like saying, if we don't knock down all the trees, then the leaves are going to take over. If we don't pull out all the salary, the salary is going to take over. <laughs> what the fuck's the sheep going to do? Steal your car? The likely scenario is that more and more people would become vegan, it would be a gradual thing, and factory farms would gradually decrease the number of animals they bred for slaughter. I'm a meat, cheese and potatoes girl. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Your fat ass does all the talking. Animals are God's gift to humans for us to eat. Well done, you just made your argument invalid because you brought up the most famous book of Chinese whispers in the world, the Bible. That said, have you heard of Thou Shall Not Kill? Read and re read and reread Genesis 129. The best way to love animals is to eat them. Yeah, and the best way to love your kids is to rape them. Well, I can't deny thousands of years of evolution. Is that why you smell like a caveman? I love McDonald's hamburgers. Meat tastes so yummy. You don't like the real taste of meat. You like the taste of meat when it's been prepped for you. You want it cooked into a different flavour, you want it charred, you want a, a sweet sauce over the top. Basically, you want to turn it into a sweet, juicy fruit. That's what happens after you put a sweet sauce on it. You have to eat through the feathers, the fur, the veins, the intestines, the blood, the brains. And you have to eat all of this raw, okay? No cooking, no salting, no saucing, no sauteing, no boiling, no baking. No frying, no grilling. Broccoli has feelings too. <sighs> Every animal needs to consume energy in order to survive. And plants freely give their energy to us. They don't scream, they don't bleed, they don't try and kick us in the face. They do not have a cerebral cortex, they do not have a heart, they don't have kidneys, they don't have lungs, they don't have blood that squirts in you in the face when you bite into it. But don't try and compare the slaughter of the slaughter, you know, the exploitation, the abuse, the slaughter of innocent animals all over the world to tugging out a head of lettuce. Come on, you know how stupid that sounds. Something is very, very wrong and it has to change now. And if you want to change, then you're going to step up to the plate and quit the excuses.